Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you the recipe of a wonderful curry of Indian fava beans, green fava beans with potatoes. It's a super yummy recipe and super delicious and super easy to make. So guys, let's see the recipe. Green fava beans are called semphali in India. You can see guys that I have divided them into two parts before cutting so that I can check the inside if there is any bug or not. And after that I cut them into pieces and washed them properly and here I have taken two medium sized potatoes, chopped and washed them and here one medium sized tomato finely chopped and here one big sized uh, onion finely chopped and here I have taken one, uh, one tablespoon full of ginger garlic crush. I crush them but you may take the paste instead there is no problem. So guys these are the things we need to arrange and the rest of the things are available in our kitchen. So let's go for the kitchen. Uh, I mean go for the pan. So I have taken a frying pan because I am going to make a dry curry. So I am taking a frying pan. But if you want some gravy then take a curry pan instead. And I added some cooking oil in the pan and now I am going to fry the potatoes. I am going to add some salt with it. A little quantity of salt because uh, I actually want the taste of salt to go inside of the potatoes so I added some salt a very little quantity of salt I added and now I am frying them on medium heat and now they are nicely fried the color is light red now so I am taking them out and in the same pan I am going to add some more cooking oil the heat is still on medium and uh, after the oil is heated well I am going to add some tarka uh, I am going to add some jeera that means cumin seeds half teaspoon and mustard seeds half teaspoon and uh, some asafoetida a pinch of asafoetida I am adding and after all the tarka is crackled well uh, I am going to add the onions so I am adding it and after that we need to fry it uh, until a nice brown color and after the color is nice brown we need to add the ginger garlic here so I am adding it. You may take the paste instead. There is no problem. I have taken the crush. So after the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone, we need to add some tomatoes. So I am taking the tomatoes finely chopped. And along with tomatoes, I am adding some salt according to taste. One teaspoon full. And now I am mixing a little. And after that, we need to add some powder spices. So I am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder. One teaspoon of coriander powder. Red chili powder according to taste. And here is one teaspoon of kanda lasun masala it's actually a Maharashtrian spices mixture if you don't have it then skip it there's no problem and it's half teaspoon of paprika powder for a brighter color and half teaspoon of garam masala now we need to mix everything very well and after that I'm going to add the same fully that means fava beans in the spices mixture so here it is I'm adding it and after that I'm going to mix everything well again and after that I'm going to cover the pan for some time for about 5 to 6 minutes on medium to low heat. In this process at the same time the fava beans and the spices mixture will be cooked and after about 5 to 6 minutes on medium to low heat this is the texture. The tomatoes are nicely soft and the fava beans are also soft now and the spices are nicely cooked so I am adding some uh, water now. I am not adding so much water because I don't want any gravy for this uh, recipe for this curry. And after adding water, I'm going to add the uh, fried potatoes in the curry. And after that, I'm going to cook with a lid. So now the heat is on medium now and uh, I'm covering the pan for some time until the potatoes and the same fully are cooked very well. So after about 10 to 12 minutes, our potatoes and same fullies, that means fava beans are very nicely cooked. I'm going to check it and show you. So guys you can see that the potatoes are nicely cooked and our curry is almost ready. So at the end of this recipe I am adding about half teaspoon of sugar here. And if you had some fresh coriander leaves then add it. I didn't have it so I am skipping it. And now our curry is ready. I am turning the heat off and serving the curry hot. So guys you can serve this curry with roti chapati or boiled rice as well. It's super delicious with all of them. So guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.